the types of um, treatment is uh, medical support, where we have psychiatrists who will administer uh, medication. We also have talk therapy, which I do, clinical psychologists or other psychologists will do, where we talk to the individuals and work with their minds and the thoughts that are contributing uh, to their, to their um, mental illness. What are the challenges today that stop us from um, seeking treatment? One, and the major one, is the stigma. We said the words we use, so you cannot imagine yourself going crazy. I get people when they come and they have already gone to the internet and done assessment, and when you do an assessment and tell them you have mild or moderate depression, you don't even need antidepressants, we can work through this, especially when they are not suicidal, ah, you see the sigh of relief. I thought I was crazy. I thank God. No, it's not being crazy. It is being sick mentally. Because if our thoughts were on our arm, or in our arm, what would we be calling it? What would be calling that sickness? Physical sickness, isn't it? The only challenge is that God put those thoughts in our minds, and when we have mental illness, it is our thoughts, our emotions, our behavior that is going to be affected. It is not African. This is Wazungu illness. These things are from the West. Is that what we say? Now, the, the world has become a global village. This is not a white man's disease. It is right here with us, because we said we also have a mind, isn't it? And help us understand, let me help us understand, 30 years ago, the things we did, we are not doing today. Today, you wake up, get into your car, and go to your office, isn't it? How many hours do you get to enjoy sunshine? How many hours do you get to walk and exercise? So we are, have all prone to all these illnesses because of a lifestyle. Actually, it is almost becoming a lifestyle problem. Lack of awareness. We don't read about it. This is for crazy people. We need to understand it so that we can help others. We also have um, lack of support and isolation. I get families who will have someone who is very sick, but they are telling them, no, you're not sick. How can you be sick? What have you lacked? You have food. You have shelter. You have go to Kebera and see people who are suffering and then we can talk about suffering. Please, this is a sickness that affects people and we need to understand it so that we can help. The cultural and religious factors where we attribute it to demons. We say it is demonic possession. When someone has psychosis, that is not a demon. It is a sickness that is medicated and dissipates or disappears.